In this video, I'll be discussing how to integrate Polarian work items into your Enterprise Architect workflow. We start by looking at the Polarian items from within Enterprise Architect. The specialized system integration menu brings up a new window listing all your integration providers as configured in ProCloud Server. Under Polarian, we have three different Polarian servers we can choose. We'll pick the first one. This lists the groups of projects, demo projects, and then lists the projects available to look at here. And we'll pick the drive pilot demo project. The next list is all the work items and the types that they're sorted by. So we'll look at system requirements. Here we see a list of all the system requirement work items inside Polarian. If we click on one, we can have a look at its properties as defined inside Polarian. The mapped properties are those which have been configured to be imported into Enterprise Architect when it's linked. But you can also see all the other properties available in the Polarian item. You can also see the external notes from Polarian as well as the discussions. To link an item into Enterprise Architect, select a package for the item to be imported into, right click on the item, create local element. Here's the name of the item to be imported and the type. You can either select a generic external reference stereotype or a specific mapped Enterprise Architect type. You can also quickly add to an open diagram for convenience. When it's created, you see the new item inside Enterprise Architect the new element, sorry, and you see that they're connected by the fact that it shows up in the list underneath the Polarian item. If we click on the Enterprise Architect element now, we can see its regular properties listed here, as well as the external properties of the Polarian item that it's linked to. Similarly, in the notes, we see the local notes that were synchronized from Polarian initially, but can be edited independently and you can also view the external notes. These internal notes can be edited and synchronized back and forth to Polarian. If we look at the discussions, these can be added to and replied to from inside Enterprise Architect. So we can add the comment inside Enterprise Architect and that is added to the Polarian discussions. We can quickly view the Polarian item inside Polarian itself by opening in an external web browser. Here we see the item, DP322, and we can see our new comment in the discussions down here. If the Polarian item is edited, That change can be reflected inside Enterprise Architect by right-clicking and pulling the changes. This pulls the changes from the Polarian item into Enterprise Architect. And we see the new name pops up here now. Uh, we need to refresh the list if we want to see the Polarian name as well. So the names now match. Similarly, if we edit inside Enterprise Architect, We'll set it back to what it was. And we see a little icon here, a little warning icon saying that the Enterprise Architect element is out of date, that has been edited since it was last synchronized with Polarian. So again, we can right click and this time we can push the changes from Enterprise Architect up to Polarian. And the list refreshes and we see that the name's changed. We can also view it in the browser again to confirm that the name has been changed. Multiple items can be linked by holding shift and clicking and so to select multiple items, right click, create local elements again, select the type again and create. This can take a while for large number of elements. We see the three items now, one, two, or four items, sorry, one, two, three, four new items connected. 
when you're not in this list at all and you just have the elements that were synchronized from Polarian, you can access the remote properties through a specialized menu. You can quickly pull any changes to synchronize with any external changes from Polarian, or you can click external properties, which brings you to the list of the external property, and that would allow you to click on it and view and make changes there. Also, even without the external data window open, you can still view the external properties of the Polarian item itself. And same with the notes. And I'll just bring the window back up, back to where we were. We'll go into system test case this time because we have an item in EA that we want to create in Polarian. And the way you can do that is load up where you want the item to go, select the Enterprise Architect element. From the menu up here, create linked item. And this will make a new item inside Polarian. So here's our new item in Polarian linked to our Enterprise Architect item. Again, we can open that in the web browser to view and make changes as required. One thing more that you can do is you can add a WebEA link to the item. If we right click and say add WebEA hyperlink to external object, if we now view this inside Polarian as convenience to users that work inside Polarian itself, under hyperlinks we have a link to WebEA. If we open that in a new tab, then we're taken to the WebEA version representation of that icon. If you want to unlink an Enterprise Architect element from the Polarian item, you can either right click and disconnect, or you can delete the item from Enterprise Architect and it will remove the link as well. Disconnect and the link's gone. When you create a new item, the choice of what's listed here in the Enterprise Architect type to be created is configurable option inside EA where you can define the mapping of the types. So you may say that a system test case maps to an enterprise architect test suite, for example. Um, you can also choose the mapping of the fields for which fields get pulled in when you create a new element. Fields can either get pulled in directly into an existing enterprise architect field or created as a new tagged value. When created as a new tagged value, they'll be prefixed with Polarian, in this case, the type of the external provider. That configuration is available through the configure menu here. And that concludes the brief introduction to integrating Polarian into your enterprise architect workflow.